Hi everyone, in this lesson we will be importing our mesh and before we begin, let me show you the default settings and preferences that I use in my typical workflow. Under display settings, so I'm going to move my work area up to show you. I usually disable snap to grid and incremental move. The reason is that we are in the concept phase and I don't want to be restricted with the set of values. In addition, let's head over to our preferences. Under general and selecting design, I also untick show ghosted result body. One of the reason is whenever I exit the sculpt workspace through finish form and decided to return, I don't want the current body showing up as an underlay. Moving forward and in addition, let's head to preview. Let's check sketch. The reason is I want my sketch entities to turn into black whenever they are fully constrained. Next, because we are importing a mesh or OBJ, I wanted our mesh workspace to appear for us to make edits to the mesh bodies. Lastly, with the intent of making a headphone, the settings are up and ready to go. So I'm going to hit apply and hit OK. Let's head up under create. Let's select Create Mesh. Heading up once more, going to Create and selecting Insert Mesh. I want you to locate Headstand STL and hit Open. Let's add to our dialog box and change this one to Inch for the unit type. Let's flip the direction. Let's select Center and move to ground and finally hit OK. I'm going to select finish mesh and hit L to grab our line. Let's create a quick sketch. I'm going to select our XY plane. I'm going to create a line from here and key in 9 inch which is the typical size of a human head Hitting enter and comparing it with our mesh head. Confirmed our mesh head is true to scale. Let's delete this line. Hitting stop sketch. And to beneath, let's delete sketch 4. Let's inspect and head to right view. Now the focus of our design is on the ear. So the best strategy would be to position our ear with respect to our origin. So let's head down to our timeline and right click on our mesh selecting edit. And going to bodies, right click on mesh body 4. Under opacity control, let's select 40%. Hitting M. To grab our move tool, move object, making sure it's bodies, selecting mesh body 4, zooming in. Let's grab this planar handle, moving this down, zooming in, and positioning our origin at the center of the ear. And finally, hit OK. Inspecting and going to top view. So model looking good. And for computing performance, let's reduce our mesh as well by going to modify, selecting reduce. The mesh face or body, selecting mesh body 4. Reduce type to be adaptive. Reduce target, face count. And the ski in 4,500. And finally hit OK. Inspecting. Going back to home view. 
and let's exit mesh workspace by selecting finish mesh in the next lesson we will be extruding the base of our plastic case